at the end of yesterday's episode, we were looking at this life raft. And I pretty much forgot that there was more stuff that we should have been looking at. And I probably could have taken out a minute or so to have done it. Well, let's, let's look at it right now. Remember there was those little rings that we wanted to look at. Uh, well, but first of all, the paraffanes. There was two of them. Oh, for some reason I did not get this one centered on the block. But it came out okay anyway. Then there was the davit. Well, actually there was four davits. But I think if we've seen this one, we've seen the other three as well. Okay, now for the rings. Here's the first four. And they're not filled in. I was kind of wondering then, you know, when I was painting them, if I was uh, putting the paint on too heavy, but uh, no, they're not filled in. And the last five. Okay, now let's get on with spraying our deck tan on those poles. Now, just a little bit of trivia here that probably nobody really cares about. Yesterday's video, it was 33 minutes and 3 seconds long. At least that's what it said on my computer. And I timed the upload to YouTube, and it took 80 minutes and 9 seconds. Now, in other words, it took about 2.4 times longer to upload than the video was long. I found it kind of interesting that no matter how long the video is, uh, it's, it's about the same. It's usually about 2.4 times as long. In other words, if the, uh, if the video was uh, uh, 10, minutes, 10 minutes in length, it would take about, oh, 25 minutes or a little less to upload to YouTube. Anyway, I thought that's, you know, I'm just passing on a little bit of trivia here that nobody wants to know. Now, if you remember when we mixed this up, we used the Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, uh, so I'm going to be wearing my face mask. Um, I'll reposition everything, hopefully you'll be able to see it uh, getting uh, uh, painted a little bit better than, uh, than, uh, than before. And I can't talk and work at the same time. So, anyway, we'll get ourselves going here. There isn't very much, so I don't want to waste it. I'm not even going to set up for the paintbrush because I don't think we're going to need it. At least I hope we don't. Now I, now I can smell the uh, the Mr. Color. So let's not let that evaporate on us. Okay, get the face mask on, get ourselves repositioned, get the fan going, and we'll open our windows later.
Well, this is the way I took it out of the wastebasket. And I would have had to crumple it all up, you know, if I had it just thrown it in the way I ripped it off. Okay, it's not going to be on there. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Okay. Well, there's four of them. And there's the fifth one right there. Okay, let's see if I can... Now put the macro lens on so you can... Uh... I don't know why I want to show this close up. I shouldn't shouldn't be showing this at all. I should have deleted that comment and pretended this never happened. Problem is, if David saw it, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people saw it. Okay, let's stick the macro lens off and on and see if we can rescue those things. Oh my goodness! Okay, what I've done here now is I've carefully unfolded it and separated it from the rest, make it a little easier to work on. Okay, now we'll stick the macro lens on. Well, it appears to me like I'm extremely lucky. I, uh, I feel like saying, I wonder, am I getting too old for this? Or maybe should I take a couple of years off? <laughs> Can you imagine what the Rodney's going to look like by the time I'm through with it? I'm not getting better, I'm getting worse. <laughs> okay, I've got these all turned over now so that they are unpainted side up. And I've got a piece of frog tape here prepared. And uh, I know I know I could use this one, but this this sticks a lot a lot worse, and I don't want to be pulling the paint off. Um, but I was thinking in retrospect, and I've been doing a lot of retrospect thinking lately, that what I maybe should have done is uh, had them mounted on the rotator block like this, uh, and then I would have been able to paint both sides at the same time. But uh yeah. Anyway, let's let's see if we can get them on here. Uh 
Now this one here is the only one that you might say got really bent out of shape. I think I'll give it a little twist here. Whoops. If I can hold on to it, that is. Now, I don't think those will blow off. Now, I know we've sort of been down this road before, but uh, is there anything else in steps 11 or 12 that I could be painting as long as I'm going to have to clean my airbrush out again. Um, you know, it's just, I'm going to be doing it just for these, these little parts right here. And I just want to see, is there anything else? And I, I can't see anything. When we move on to uh, step 13, well, then there's going to be a myriad of other little parts. And, well, by the time I get them nipped off and, you know, screw it, uh, sprue, uh, the sprue juice, <laughs> the uh, uh, flashing, scraped off all the little parts and so on. You know, a bit of time will have passed and I'll be ready to spray again. Does this make sense? Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just leave step 13 until later. I can't see anything else now that I've missed. So once we've sprayed these, then the, but the next thing to do is uh, try and... Uh, well, wait a minute. We can't put this stuff down on, on this uh, on this uh, shelter deck here. Actually, is is this part the shelter deck, or is the part that it's sheltering the shelter deck? I'll have to look that up. Anyway, um, yeah, I might have I've been I might have been uh, saying it backwards here. Uh, this this deck might be the, the boat deck because the boats are going to go on here. Anyway. <laughs> rambling here. But before we can put them on, the sides all have to be painted. So that means that this all has to be masked all the way around here like this so that uh, when I paint the sides it's not going to get over spray onto the parts that I don't want it. Anyway, enough rambling here. Let's uh, let's spray those. Oh, uh, yeah, there there is uh, maybe places on here that are going to have to be painted dark. Okay, like these these right here, but I'm going to be doing that with a brush. I'm just not uh, that good that I can use I can paint something like that with an airbrush and not get it where it's not supposed to go. Now I was just thinking here, something this this small might have done better on the rotator here. Now, very, very carefully. Mind you, if these things survive being all crumpled up and, uh, you know, thrown in the garbage. But still. Okay, now I'm going to want to center it right on this hole here. I've got to kind of eyeball it because I can't see through it anymore. I think that's probably pretty close. Uh, yeah. There. Okay, I'm pretty much set up, ready to go here. And there is something that I did yesterday. I think it was in yesterday's video that I am very surprised that nobody commented on. And that was, if you remember, when I took my, my paint and I poured it into here, I turned it upside down and then and I tried to tap the last little drop off. Well, well when I did that, you know how, how you get little hard particles built up around the edge? I could have very easily have accidentally dropped one of those hard particles down into the cup here. So uh, I have to remember not to do that. Uh, this is our 50-50 uh, or thereabouts of the 77 and it, I shouldn't have to thin it anymore. Um, once again I don't think I'm going to be needing the toothbrush. Uh, I shouldn't. 
I've got my uh, pressure set at 20 pounds again because that's what seemed to work really well here. And uh, everything is nice and tight this time. So, uh, sometimes this doesn't come off easily. Yeah, actually you should be able to see it. See, see it right on the edge there? There's a little hard, hard part right there. Well, I could have accidentally uh, uh, knocked that off. And, and it's also a good idea to make sure that when you pour, you pour from an edge that is more or less pristine. Now, I've already shaken this up. Well, we shouldn't need very much. I think putting the cap on it just helps to keep it from evaporating a little bit more. Especially if you're using something like that uh, Mr. Color Thinner that I think probably evaporates very, very quickly. Oh, we're not ready yet. i got to get my fan going. Actually, now that I think about it, I want to put the macro lens on too. I'm always surprised, and I don't know why I am, but usually when I use the macro lens, I can see a little piece of dust that I don't normally otherwise see. Now, if you remember, when these things were rotating around, I don't know if you can see it now or not, but there was, there was a little piece of dust right about here. I can barely see. I think I can see where it's supposed to be. Now, let's try not to scratch the paint off the other side here. i just... Try these loose here, very carefully here. We won't be needing these for uh, a long time. Try not to scratch the paint off. Now I know we did, didn't we do the Steinle res on, on these things for at the first time uh, before we painted them with this uh, XF paint? I think we did. Okay, I should be able to grab hold of them now. Okay, very carefully now. Whoop, I shouldn't do that. Now it looks like I did scratch a little bit of paint off it right there. Oh, just a moment ago when I was uh, working here, uh, corner of my eye, I thought I saw something moving outside, and turns out I got a delivery. And what had happened was, if you remember a few episodes ago back, uh, we were talking about the number number 11 blades here, and uh, Tony was mentioning how he gets his number 11 blades from Amazon, buys them in a package of... Uh, of a hundred and so I checked it out and oh yeah it's a lot cheaper per blade that's for sure so uh, yeah I ordered some too and they just came now I was gonna mark our little container here with you know what these things are but it's gonna be pretty obvious what they are so uh, yeah I don't think I need to mark on them what they are anyway let's have a package opening here Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm 
Well, that's not the way I was expecting them to come packaged. I thought they'd come packaged with, you know, and say what is it, what is in there and how many. And I guess it's sealed on the sides here as well. Well, I know that there is no way that you're going to know what I've got here. Okay, so there are three packs. It says 11 on there. I don't know what the quality is. But there's supposed to be I, I guess if there's a hundred here, I got three hundred. According to the uh, information I got off Amazon, it was a package of three hundred blades. Um, I'll, I'm actually going to uh, compare uh, under the microscope. I won't bore you with that, but I, I'm going to compare and see what what does the sharpness look like on this on this cheap blade. Uh, in comparison to, you know, the regular uh, Axo blades uh, that probably cost uh, 10 or more times as much per blade. So it doesn't say where they're made or anything like that. This is, <laughs> well, I guess you can't expect fancy packaging for a cheap price, right? All right, well, that's what I got. Um, I wonder if I can reuse my container, just take take them out from here and put about 15 at a time back in the old container. Why not? That should work. Well, we'll do that some other time. <laughs> what do you expect for nothing, right? All right, on this large life raft, we had already removed the Vejeo liquid mask. But, uh, the other 16, we didn't. I thought we might do that yet today, but I think we've run out of time here, so we're going to have to leave that for tomorrow. And that'll be tomorrow's project. Get this liquid mask rubbed out of there, or however we're going to do it. And then, uh, I guess go around with a little paintbrush and try and paint the inside of the, of the uh, life raft's ring. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.